What's going on guys and welcome to this little info video I want to do for you guys because EA just dropped a bombshell of news all on us and uh, I'm excited to kind of bring it to you guys. They released some World Cup info. Of course EA, we kind of all expected them to do something for the World Cup. We weren't entirely sure what and yesterday they released a tweet um, saying that they were going to release more info at 2 p.m. today and true to their word they absolutely did and boy did they deliver because um, this stuff looks really exciting. Now they released a trailer with it and uh, I'm kind of gonna go over that and talk to you guys a little bit about what you you're, what you're seeing on your screen and just discuss um, this World Cup free expansion pack that's the key word it's free so uh, you you bet your ass I'm gonna be trying this out and uh, yeah let's uh, waste no more time guys let's uh, start watching this little trailer and uh, let me kind of break it down for you guys about what's going on right guys so EA this is the video the trailer they released for their brand new piece of I want to call it an expansion pack more than anything it's an expansion expansion pack for the World Cup of course it's just around the corner and this is going to be released on the 29th of May so of course that's this month they're gonna have all the players all the kits and all 32 teams involved in the World Cup and you will be able to pack these players and all that good stuff they got these new special packs for the um, for the World Cup you're gonna be able to play online tournaments single tournaments if you fancy playing offline you can do the group stages you move into the tournament tree and then of course the almighty final that you will be able to participate in They've also added more of a kind of authentic feel to it. They've given it this whole new Brazil look. As you can see, the colors, everything just going mad. They've also changed the chemistry system. But just before we get into that, I do want to talk a little bit about the player ratings and how that's all going to unfold. So according to EA, they are still having Man of the Match and it returns to your normal foot ultimate team. So they're going to be releasing those normal Man of the Match cards on your normal foot. But for the sake of the World Cup, what's going to happen is that the players are going to automatically increase. So let's say, for example, Rooney bags himself a hat trick. What's going to happen is that his player card is going to be automatically updated. And let's say he gets put to a 90, that 87 rating card that we just seen on the screen is now going to be a 90 rated card now bear in mind I don't know if these baseline ratings on the screen right now are final but that's the way the man of the match cards are gonna work when it comes to the expansion pack with this whole World Cup thing going on but guys let's talk a little bit about the chemistry so the way you're going to be able to link up your players now is through their nationality and also the governing confederation of which the country is assigned to. So uh, with that in mind, you're going to be able to make some really cool teams and I'm excited to see uh, what sort of teams people come up with and it should make for some really interesting content on YouTube, on my channel especially, and uh, just for everyone to see, I think it's going to be great. You're also going to be given a starter pack and it's going to be featuring a badge, some players from your supporting team, and uh, yeah, things like that. Another thing is that the the packs, uh, the, the players you get in packs are not tradable. You can't trade them back to your main team. They are simply untradable. Um, you can't drag players over from your main team either, which is uh, a little bit of a shame. It would have been cool to make some stuff, but I understand to keep things on track, they're keeping it very World Cup based, and so that's what they're doing. But don't worry, if you open up a pack on this World Cup expansion, you get a free pack inside of that pack. I know it's a bit of Inception, and you will also get yourself a pack on your main Ultimate Team account. So remember, guys, it's, you have to distinguish distinguish the fact that this is an expansion pack and it's not directly integrated with your main ultimate team so it is an add-on if you will for the uh, for the world cup which looks to be absolutely amazing and a whole lot of fun so i'm excited to see how well that all pans out so, of course, at the end of the video, they do say it all comes out on the 29th of May. We should all be really excited for this. It's something new. I do have slight worries about it in the sense that every time EA have tried to do sort of expansion packs, whether for the Euro, things like that, it just didn't work out so well. Really buggy. And I honestly, I I'm really nervous for this one as well in the sense that if they pull off the launch and it all goes smoothly, I will be very happy because it looks like it can be a lot of fun and it's a fantastic game mode. It's great that EA are doing something good for for the World Cup, but if it goes to pot and it is like the Euro DLC, it could be a real shambles and uh, shambles. And if anything, just leave us all with a bad taste in our mouth, and that would just be a real disaster. And I don't think anyone wants that. So let's hope EA managed to pull off a fantastic launch, and we all get involved in this because this looks like a whole lot of fun. You can expect plenty of World Cup content on my channel. I'm really excited to bring this guys uh, to my channel, and it looks like it can be a whole lot of fun. So hope to see you guys around. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye bye.